All right, we're less than two minutes before the report comes out. I'm sure you all know the drill. Once it comes out, we're going to wait our two minutes and then start looking for trades. Got the 377 counterpunch trade or counterpunch chart on the right. Got the five tick momentum bar for spotlight on the left. The range has uh, hasn't really changed. We've got the 90 cent range today so far, which isn't horrible. And welcome to all of you who are just joining us for this crude oil session. Funny how the room attendance always spikes right in front of the session. So well, here we go. Couple seconds here, we'll see the reaction. Seemed like it came out a little early. Kind of an interesting reaction here. So there's a short right there at 57.59. We'll see if that remains valid. You can see the filtered out trade because of the chop zone and the entry right in front of that 50 moving average. So you see the chop zone there at the bottom of the histogram preventing that long trade. And the short did hit the stop. So now that short trade would be done and so far no setup. So we're just flat. We're going to wait till we get a valid setup. And now we have the, the gray trade has become valid if it pulls down, but it may push up there. It hit money management. So it's no longer valid. That's bizarre, right? That looks like a short, but it's actually a long setup. But we're still flat. That's because the filtered out trade became valid once it came out of the chop zone. But then it pushed up and hit money management before it came down and hit the entry. So that trade then was no longer valid. And there's a long now. So a long at 96. Order filled. And did trigger in. So targeting 13 and the stop at 79. Now a stop and reverse. At 82, actually that would also be at 79, unfortunately, after an adjusted entry. That would be targeting 65. Let's hope it pushes higher and we can cancel that. So far, so good. All right, so the stop and reverse is canceled. Money management is at target one if it can just get above the $58 level. Had a nice pullback into the 50 moving average, so if we can get a an action move up here we need the buyers to come in right at that key level you could see putting up a fight there it is missing money management by one tick let's see if it could push through and get us to a risk-free position almost not quite there no there it is i knew it was coming risk-free move your stop up now we're two ticks shy of full target Order one there's field. full target Got filled, thankfully. That's what didn't happen to me last week. And now the, the stop moving higher, 99, and moving higher even more to 04. Trying to get to target three. Don't know if I'm going to get there. I missed target three by one tick. And probably should have got out around target two. Let me give it a chance. The buyers to come in here. Or this trade's going to stop out at 04. Order filled. Oh, well, it's too bad. It did stop out at 04. So when you miss a target three by one tick, if you're trading to target three, it's probably a good idea to then get out at target two. But it never came back to target two anyway for me. I just kept my stop there hoping it would hold, but it didn't. It's still a winner, one and done. Can't complain about that. One and done, that's all she wrote. There was some tricky maneuvering and some things you had to know. This one became kind of interesting here right when our two minutes was up, but it canceled. And then you had a possible stop and reverse. Definitely had to get that trade placed and then cancel it. That's one of the things you guys should know how to do by now. And if not, I would recommend practicing that. I've done tons of videos on how to do it. But ultimately, this was the trade. It hit full target. One and done. Hope you guys enjoyed the session. That's a wrap, folks. As far as spotlight goes, did anyone get in sync with this trade that happened four seconds after the news release came out? Because after two minutes, uh, I guess there's no getting in sync, right? Because 
it just it was already beyond the entry so no trade there so this was the first trade and it came up and hit a perfect target too I hope you guys got filled so if you're trading spotlight I mean sometimes these targets are just too darn perfect it's better if it goes through a tick or three but you know that's the classic case of you hit your target and don't get filled and then you have to take fast action that's what happened to me last week and instead of stopping I kept trading and that was a mistake so this is one and done depending on how you guys handled it you should have had a profit a profitable trade if you didn't get filled you got to be quick at exiting the next trade also worked out pretty nicely missing full target by one tick still going spotlights really good at the v-shape reversals as you can see and you're saying the yellow trade not tradable oh okay yeah okay well I see that so the yellow trade not tradable so then that means the pink trade which which is tradable and that one is going to be power of quitting missing full target by one tick regardless and still going so yeah good call John and the reason why it's untradable and you could tell is because when you click on the entry notice the timestamp 1034 and 47 seconds the next bar is the exact same timestamp and it's already above the entry so definitely too fast to trade so when that happens that's not a trade you count if it's too fast if it's not tradable we don't consider we just move go to the next trade because when you're testing you could also check and see the time and make sure that doesn't end up in the back test anyway so that's not a that's not a trade that we would consider this one is and you got couple bars multiple bars to grab the entry and that one did just stop out but getting to full missing full target by one tick for our power of quitting rules counts and it's one and done as well you just have to take a partial profit but still a good trade one and done on both sessions and there you go any questions all right well you guys have been in this session with me many times already you're probably all experts at it. I hope you enjoyed it. Everyone have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.